me when I see you lot together. Not that you've stayed at the top for over 30 years. Um, not that you've managed to keep coming back with different kind of sounds, but that you've stayed together for 35 years and your family. Well, we all have families. Yeah. But you, you know, I mean, I can't spend 10 minutes with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't know your mother, so... Neither you know, <laughs> you know, could you. But 35 yeah. years together. Yeah. Well, we were little kids at the time, so we've grown up together, remember? So, like, four or five when we began. Oh, I know. I but think we, yeah. we all have the same sense of humour, so I think it's a lot to do with that, and uh, that we all had the same goal mm. as we were children. We always wanted to be one day famous. So it's that goal that's still going on that uh, the three of us sort of made a pact when we were younger. And it's because we have the same sense of humour and we always have a lot of fun. So uh, It must be the sense of humour because, yeah. I mean, there's no other family band. I, I'm possibly, mm -hmm. possibly the Bachelors is, you know, two of them are brothers. But, I mean, there's no... <laughs> there's no the Jacksons, you know, there's, there's nobody. The, the Osmonds, they're not together. No. So who was... Just as well, really, yes. <laughs> <laughs> who was the one when you were little? Who was the one who said... Come on, lads, let's sing. Or did it just spontaneously burst into harmony? It was totally organic. Is that the word? Yeah, that <laughs> yes. is, that's the word. Stick with that yeah. one. Okay, I think I should. Yeah, yeah it's totally organic. Spontaneous and completely out of the blue. We just started singing one day. Barry picked up a, good, picked up a guitar. So how old, we, how old are we about talking about? I four, was four or five years old. Our average age was about four or five, six yeah. that we started. Uh, that, when you say we've been together that long, because yeah. we're little kids, and remember, it's not a question of us being together, we, we're brothers, so obviously, yeah, sure. it was just something that we've always done. And it was your dad who sort of put you on the, the sort of show busy trail, wasn't it? Well, it was the influence of our father being a drummer. Um, he used to have a big band and he used to play the Mecca circuit during World War II. He accompanied the war. Yeah. <laughs> he did and, the soundtrack to World War II. And mum was a band vocalist, so yeah. um, I think it had to be in our blood. So it was an instinctive thing. I, I read somewhere that he never kind of gave you a pat on the back. Well, no, it's just, it's not that he never gave us a pat on the back, because I'm sure he did in his own way. It was a long time. But he, he always complimented the audience. Oh. Yeah, when we came off stage and it had been a good show, he would always say, the audience was great tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. I mean, um, that's the way, that's his way, that was his way of complimenting yeah. us. And you were, you were very young. I think you were 12 and you were nine when you then went to Australia. And no, a little earlier. Yeah. No, no, no. We I was 12 eight. when we arrived in Melbourne. Yeah, we it was my 12th birthday. The day oh, we arrived okay. in Melbourne. So yeah. we would have just turned nine when we got yeah. there. We were nine when you left England. We were 12 when you arrived in Melbourne. I arrived in Melbourne. Yeah. It was a long trip. Yeah. It was a long trip. I don't want to cause a family row. <laughs> the programme when the Beaches broke up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and was it, there, it was there that you kind of sort of honed your act, wasn't it? Yeah, well, in, in, right. honed your yeah. act. But then in Australia, it's uh, it was very difficult to because uh, we were kids to sell records or be teenage type of uh, uh, audience. So we had to work to adults first in clubs and have an adult act and so forth because that's really we were supporting the family. So that's where the money was and that's what we used to do. Yeah, was that were you instruments then or were you purely an acapella? Yeah, we, no, we we had uh, Barry always played guitar and I picked up guitar about uh, when I was nine. And I started getting into it, and then the two of us just played guitars, and Robin was sort of in the middle singing, and we just. I've always been in the middle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was that a big shock to you culturally, Australia at that age? Actually, no. It's paradise. I mean, when you were that age, and you're going to a beautiful, sunny country, because in those days they were immigrating. You know, they were trying to encourage the immigration. So it was twenty pound, like ten pound per parent, and kids travel yeah. free. Mm. So we were going to paradise. You know, because we were well, living in Manchester. It was a journey as well. I mean, yeah. And we we saw the pyramids, and we were in India. And we're all these all these exotic countries at such an early age. So we've always had a feeling that that has something to do with our songwriting. You know, mm -hmm. we, we we drew on all of that experience when we you got didn't older. You drew on the pyramids, didn't you? <laughs> we even drew on the pyramids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is emerging about it is, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is. Ask us something else. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is there one of you who says, come on, guys, yes. let's do this? Is Which would one? that be, I wonder? No, I don't Can know. No, what do you mean? Is there one person who said, let's do this? Yeah. <laughs> there isn't. It, it's just but organic. It's, yeah, it's that's that word again. It's, it is organic. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. we're all brothers, but I'm the eldest brother. I think yeah. at various times there's different leaders, like now. Yeah, that's a good one. So you have the last say, do you? You're no, I have answer. no comment to make on this. Oh, he has nothing to say. <laughs> Do you go back to Australia much now? I mean, I it's remember because you're from the Isle of Man, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yes, that's right. We're Manx. Yeah. Because yes. people say it's Australia, it's um, Manchester, but you. We're the born Isle in Douglas, the Isle of Man. The three of us. Every time my mother got pregnant, she went for a holiday in the Isle of Man. 
<laughs> she got pregnant with us three, of course, but not all, not all at the same time, of course. But you two at the same time. I was two at the same time, the yeah. two egg twins. So where were we on this one? Do you go back to Australia much now? We went back last. The last time we did go back was 1989. Yeah. Yes, it was part of a tour. And uh, we intend to go back on the next tour, which starts next April. Yeah, do you have family and friends over we there? We have our sister, Leslie, yeah. um, uh, and her family, which is, I think, eight children to be fair i think it was nine she's got a huge family it looks like the cover of sergeant pepper <laughs> <laughs> listen you, you, we heard you at the top of the show then that's right um with <laughs> electric guitars. electric, electric guitars. and we're going to hear you again a little bit I later know what you're going to say well, yeah. could you just kind of hone in on me and let it organically sort of happen <laughs> okay, what i want is an organic an organic feel to the music yeah. this time it's a little bit yeah. more sort oh, of I've got my organic no. oh no i don't want you to play Perhaps just sit there so and organically the feel it between you. That we you just sit here and take our clothes off. <laughs> oh Lord, I knew he'd be trouble. <laughs> I'm not trouble. You say we got the boys on the edge. You see, you're on, on the edge. edge. Yeah. All right, go on then. <laughs> Film. <laughs> Stay, Stay with us. Spectrum. Stay with us. Don't go yet. Any day now. <laughs> idea how no. nauseating that is to someone like well, me who can't bad. no no <laughs> someone like me who can't sing and can't play and you're just sitting there completely effortless. Well you're very kind, thank you. I thank you. Yes. Kind words. <laughs> <laughs> Love them all, but the one that, that really like took me straight back then was jive talking because I I can suddenly see you in the 70s with a wonderful white suit you used to wear didn't yeah. you and those wonderful kind of flares well let, let me make a point here yeah. we never wore a white suit we, we, we wore we wore short white jackets yeah and white pants but they were never as flared as as the uh as it seems to have turned out that everyone thinks we were. Well, uh, they got bigger and bigger, I think. And, uh, I think John the Jacksons in that period. Yeah. The players were actually were big. three yards wider, yeah. you know. So it was, well, well, we never actually got into those things. We were very jeans and t-shirts kind of people. No, people people, really. People people, people. people. Well, let's just remind ourselves exactly what you did look like then. Let's look at the trousers well, that launched a thousand sail ships. trousers that launched all the cracks about no wonder they sing so high uh, actually with more of a john travolta's image than ours we, it was yeah. sort of um with the white suit and the black shirt and all that that was the front cover of the album so that was yeah. you know it's such a phenomenon it was such a success the film but was how? actually very big we never actually actively promoted the film so no. it was a big film if you look at the cover of the album though the back the back of the album is a picture of where you can't see our pants at all no, we're actually we weren't wearing, wearing any. We're wearing but boiler suits. Actually. How did you discover that? You know, Our those higher, those oh. higher registers. Not well, it's hand. a long story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we discovered it during a song called "Nights on Broadway." Oh. Um, when, um, thank you. <laughs> Hello, mother. How'd you get it? We um, we need. We were experimenting, and and uh, our. <laughs> no, I won't say that. No, no. Our producer <laughs> said, "We need a high screaming voice." Yeah. to go out at the end of Nights on Broadway. Okay. Can one of you try and do that? So uh, I volunteered and they pushed me into the sound into the studio yeah. and um, started screaming. And I found out that I could actually do that and do it like melodically. I could yeah. actually sing a song that way. And I didn't know I could do that until that. But having said that, there's only about three or four big records where we actually, oh. where they're actually featured. Yeah. Uh, that, that kind of there's it. lots it's just, of songs with me doing. No, I'm talking about the key singles from Night Time, from the from, Saturday Fever album. Yeah, but the whole, yeah. most of Spirits have been flown following. That. Yeah, the yeah. singles, anyway, yeah. Don't. Yeah. Excuse us. But yeah, sorry, I don't want to interrupt <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's, <laughs> the Saturday Night Fever, sure. as you said, that, that <laughs> album was the most, you know, the, the biggest selling album of all times at that time. Six consecutive It's the biggest hit. film soundtrack of all time. Biggest yeah. film soundtrack. So let's at least give it credit. And it's still the second biggest selling album of all time. So you're right. All right. Oh, gosh, no, where just I'm getting right. Three of them, for goodness sake. Right, no, but when you're talking you... about phenomenon that size, no yeah. one can predict it. I mean, I, I spoke to Quincy Jones about Thriller that he, he said, go away. He <laughs> said, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and Quincy actually said, we expected to sell two, three million. Yeah. They didn't expect it to sell as many as it did. And nobody did about Fever. It wasn't a high-profile picture. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't a Jurassic Park. It was no great promotion. Well, they didn't have a hype. They didn't have any big money in the yeah. promotion. Um, but did you worry that it was it was so successful? Everyone wants success in their career. But when you get there, it's like, no. can we do it again? And can we better it? Was that a fear? We never tried to, to, to think. It was a project to us that we gave three or four songs to. It wasn't sort of a big career move. We were coming off three or four platinum albums before that. We were in the studio making our new album. So we gave them a few songs and they got on with it, just as, uh, as anybody would for a, for a film. 
and uh, and then the soundtrack came out. We saw we saw the movie, and the movie was a big success. We, yeah, we prefer these times yeah. Yeah. now because they're more smooth, they're not so chaotic, and we can make our albums comfortably. And if people like our music, That's they fine. can respond yeah. to it. Uh, but when you have a situation like that, your life literally goes crazy. Is that um, why in the 80s that you took a lot of time off? Yes. Yeah, well, we took time yes. off. We wrote and produced for other people. Absolutely. We never yeah, the same reaction, Dino yes. Ross. Yeah. And yeah. We've moved breaker. back from the forefront. We've tried to stop being that entity on purpose. We know? purposely stopped being the Bee Gees for a few years to let the fever period cool down. Yeah. Mm. We needed to do that. We, got, we wrote Islands in the Street and produced Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton, what Barry produced and we wrote. Uh, Chain Reaction for Dinah Ross, Heartbreaker, Dion Warwick, The Guilty Album with Woman in Love. And then that's when we came to You Win Again in the in 88 okay. and, uh, and the return of the... We, we would, I think we were, we were trying to become better songwriters. We thought if we stop becoming that entity, we can concentrate on our songwriting, which when all said and done is really what we do. Um, yeah. uh, what we, the, the singing part of it and the performing part of it all stems from this core of the three of us writing songs since being very, very young. Yeah. That's what we do. That's our, that's I mean, our ability. Without the song, you have nothing. Oh. Yeah, we are songwriters. We've written all, we've all write and written all our own songs. You're over here at the moment. Um, we certainly are. Yes. Promoting your album, which I'll talk about in a minute. Yes, of course. You're also here to do um, Children in Need tonight, yes. which you've never done before, have you? No. No. But you have done an awful lot of other charity work. You're going to do a concert for the children of Bosnia? Well, we're trying to put a, a, a concert together for the children of Bosnia mm -hmm. um, with other artists. The difficult thing is getting other artists to take a political standpoint. Um, our real motive is, is, or our real message is, can we? is it possible to get the kids out? Is it possible to remove all children no matter what side they're on? That's always, that's, that's what our yeah, argument right, is. Yeah. But the children and the mothers, you know, men always seem to want to fight, so let them fight. Well, I love a know? good fight. He likes a good yeah. fight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but can, is it not possible that we can stop for a month, mm -hmm. remove all children, and then, you know, have your battles, you know? Um, so that's what we're trying to do. That's just our message. So we've got a song on, the, on our new album called Blue Island, which is a message dedicated to those children. Well, let, let's just go behind the scenes okay. minute for us, for, for children in need, and join right. Ross down in London right. so that you can see just what you're in for tonight. No. So there you are. That's what you're in for tonight. Now, I know you won't tell me exactly what, but you are going to be doing something from your latest album tonight, aren't uh, you? Yes. Size isn't everything. Why, have you, uh, yeah, but why haven't you called Why have you called it that? Because, I mean, you're all quite tall. Well, <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Sure, of course. Judy, Judy, Judy. Yes. Well, um, we call it size. First of all, it's not personal. No. Uh, and it better not be. No, it's really the width that's more important. Yeah. Uh, but size and everything, it was more of a fun uh, title. It yeah. also means, uh, basically, don't judge a book by its cover. Oh. No matter what, how you perceived as of what we are, or what we've been, or what we're doing, just listen to the music. Uh, sure, and it's yeah. fun. It's, it's, fun. it's, it's yeah, a bit it's of a fun. joke, really. Yeah. 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 Now, talking of humour, you get yourself into a bit of trouble with the press, don't you? I'm always getting myself yeah, into get, trouble with the press. What is all this caper? Well, I haven't actually said anything to the press. It was, uh, you're, you're touching on the, the story with, about my wife yeah. earlier in the week. Yeah. Uh, that was basically a radio show in New York called Howard Stern, Shock Jock. And uh, he is, they don't have anything like it in England. It just went completely awry because he, he just, he likes to shock. He talks about everybody, including his own family. So the, the, so the illusions you were making about sexual activities were a joke. Absolutely, but joke. it just totally right. backfired. And again, it wasn't a, a, a sort of serious statement about my life. It was more of a, a conversation that sort of rolled on early in the morning. And it happens to, it happens to have gone to 17 cities. Uh, and it was the number one show in the country. So when people hear things like that, even in, oh. in jest, it just gets picked up. So you won't be doing that way. one again then? Well, I won't say I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it You'd probably be doing it, but I won't say that again. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who, who's going to be the one? You've been to, singing together for 35 years, as we've said. Who's going to be the one who turns around one day and says, that's it, guys? Or will you all know organically? Probably or, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we're just going to keep on doing what we do because we love it. We enjoy doing what yeah. we're doing. There's no cut-off moment. We just feel, as long as we feel that we've got something good to contribute, oh. and we enjoy what we're doing, we love writing and producing, uh, then we'll keep on doing it. It's like painting. You just you just have to do what you do. Because there's paint. paint as well, of course, by the way. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. oh, no. no. You well, don't at all, do you? 
No, no, we don't. <laughs> I mean, not, not what you'd like to see anyway. <laughs> I mean, also, I mean, the, the, the high pitch stuff, I mean, you're not going to be able to keep that up forever. Yeah, right? but that's, we don't do that all the time. That's not just, well, No, I know, but it's uh, become such a feature that is recognized now. Mm. No, yeah, else actually, it's stronger than ever. Is it? So, oh, yeah. So um, I think it's down to exercise. I think if you, if you don't exercise any given muscle, it's not going to work properly. And I exercise that particular muscle quite a lot. So, so glad you said that. Thank you. Um, so the falsetto part of my voice is, is uh, as strong as it ever was. In fact, stronger than it yeah. was. But you'll actually be. hear records where Barry doesn't do any falsetto. Oh, at all. I know. I mean, there's plenty of that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm very proud of him. He's very proud yeah. to do it. And, He's a very proud man. Uh, and I, uh, I think Brian Wilson um, should be proud of his. And Beach I think boys, Frankie right? Valley should yeah. be very proud of his. Sure. And Eric and, uh, Smith of 12 Arcadia Gods. I particularly, I particularly <laughs> like his. Will yeah. you be, you'll be touring soon. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, we're doing, we're planning a world tour in April uh, where we'll go everywhere. And, well, that's what uh, we do in the world. And also Latin America, which we've never been to before. So yeah. we'll be touring in Latin America. He doesn't time. stop that one. No, does. You've got to keep going, don't you? <laughs> You're going to sing us out now with your, um, your latest single. Yes. Right. Tell and us we about it. Are, yes. Uh, it's from the album. It's our new single, For Whom the Bell Tolls, it's called. Mm. And uh, it's a ballad. It's a ballad. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what did you say earlier, Barry? You didn't say I anything, did you, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a kind of a... Just in case you did, so shut it's up. It's a kind of a torch song, really, isn't you know, it? You said that word earlier, torch song. A word to conjure. No, I said it, and you said, oh, and... Uh, <laughs> it's it's been great to meet you. Would you like to sing it for us? Right. For whom the bell tolls, the Bee Gees. Thank you.